Look how nice that coffee actually looks. Nespresso is actually a really good machine. Ah, spill it. Dean's just been to get me coffee to keep me company while I work. I just have a bit of work to do and then we're gonna explore London. Mm. Ugh, coffee power. <laughs> We have just got ready and we're about to head out. It's pretty late. We've been having like a work morning. And by the way, did you know I'm listening to the diary of a CEO and the Airbnb owner, one of his biggest inspirations, Walt Disney. You would never think that would you? It's one of my biggest inspirations as well. Anyway, we've been listening to Stephen Bartlett. I'm just about to upload a vlog for my YouTube channel for catnip. And now we are going to head off to a coffee shop. I was actually hoping to go to Selfridges today. I actually posted a TikTok last night when I was in bed and someone Someone said that there's a really cute display in Selfridges but unfortunately I don't think we're gonna have enough time we have to be at the Barbican at 7 p.m. however what we have decided to do is go for dinner or a late lunch um, at a coffee shop around here called Milk Tree before we head to the Barbican so let's head off the coffee shall we Sometimes life can be tough And you feel like you just had enough When you're thinking everything is gone wrong Just remember that I don't know why we've got two portions We can't eat it so we've got a box full it around yeah, I wanna pick you up from the ground Let you know that I'm always around Cause I know we can make it And yes, we can make it If we try, keep on trying Elizabeth line was getting built for ages and um, it's nice to use we used it on our way to Heathrow before um, in the Japan vlogs if you haven't checked them out and you like travel vlogs definitely go check that travel trip out we did loads of series but it's really nice it's the first time I actually went inside of London on the Elizabeth line anyway we're near the Barbican now let's go shall we call on me and I'll help you carry some of that way Hey, my neighbor Toto. Official merchandise here. I wonder if that'll open. I think I'll 
show you guys what merchandise they've got later and see if we get anything. It's not open yet though because we're pretty early but should we have a look around the Barbican shop? Just spotted a total roll merchandise stand outside and also in the shop uh, but we're going to show our coats in the cloakroom and then go have a look around. I'm so excited. This stage show has been something I've been looking forward to for months. I was a little curious though how they were going to adapt a Ghibli film into a stage show and I really wasn't sure how it was going to work. First though we thought we would kill some time by buying some merch in the Barbican store. I'll do a little haul when I'm back in the hotel. I noticed they had a bunch of artwork books with Hayao Miyazaki's work and I wanted to start collecting art books this year for the studio and home as illustration inspo. I find them so inspiring to look at, like all the sketches and everything. I'll show you which ones I got later. I've got a bunch of books, I will do a haul later on. <laughs> but look. Like I mentioned, I really, really wasn't sure how they were going to adapt this cartoon into a stage show, but let me just say, this was single-handedly one of the best theatre shows I've ever seen. I may be biased because I love Ghibli, but the art direction and the actors were cast immaculately, and not only that, but the vocalists and the musical scores of the Ghibli film would literally give me goosebumps. Also, Totoro was amazing. I can't believe they managed to pull it off, but without too many spoilers, he was giant and so it was the cat bus. I honestly didn't know how I would feel about two adults playing two very small children but honestly they were fantastic and pulled it off capturing the true essence of Main Satsuki. I laughed, I cried and I genuinely just loved this show so much in fact I would actually see it again and again. In fact there were people next to me who were actually there for a second time and now after seeing this I really really want to go see the new Spirited Away adaptation in May. If you love Ghibli and get the chance to see this or you're going to be in London while this is on I would honestly highly recommend it I actually loved it even more than the film good morning guys I thought I would show you the books I ended up picking up in the Barbican so I picked up two of the Hayao Miyazaki Studio Ghibli art books and these are so inspirational this is actually sealed at the moment but this is basically a full book about Hayao Miyazaki and it's got an illustrated journey through the extraordinary cinematic worlds of Academy Award winning Hayao Miyazaki and then while I was there I decided to pick up the art of my neighbour Totoro and this is so beautiful again it's like an art book where you get to see his sketches and his characters come to life which I think is so inspirational how cool is this like look at this the original concept art for Totoro and stuff I love it so I got that as well and I also picked up this which wasn't in the plan but I really really like the look of it it's a therapeutic journey lessons from the school of life and I just think this looks super super interesting look at this last night was so amazing as well but we're actually just checking out of the hotel but we are really excited because we actually have longer than we thought we, th we thought we were getting the 2 30 coach back home but our coach isn't till 6 30 and i'm very very excited because there's this uh, exhibition called cute that one of you guys over on instagram actually recommended to us and it's basically like all kawaii art and stuff like that and anyone who doesn't know i own my own small business called catnip.com where i create cute characters and illustrations and a lot of it is heavily based off like kawaii art and pop culture so i was like oh my gosh this is perfect but not only that they also have a hello kitty pop-up cafe there so I was like, this was meant to be, even though we're not going to get home till like 12.30 and I'm at work very early in the morning. I feel like this whole weekend has been like a really inspirational. It's gave me lots of like art inspiration and stuff. So let's head off to Charing Cross first of all, because we're going to put our luggage in storage. And then let's go and do the cute exhibition. How fun. Let's go, shall we?
excited about this. This is unplanned, but it looks great. Dean's just made a little squishy that's currently on the thing rug. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Kind of looks like AI art though. A little bit. This is the first kind of, some of the first examples of cute kawaii cards. Uh, look, 19, 1822, the Brighton Cats. So cute. Look at this from the 1800s. It literally looks like modern art, doesn't it?
house is being delayed. I'm not gonna get home till like one o'clock in the morning. I'll let him. Dean's watching my vlog that I've just uploaded. I love it, Dean. Thanks for the like, Dean. <laughs> goodness what an absolute chore and a half that was getting home i think i worked it out and it actually worked out the same amount of time as my flight to japan i could have flew out to japan by the time it took me to get from london back home and not only that but i literally have to do that journey again in three days time oh Holy moly, because we will be going to Canada and the start of the Canada series will start. I've got a product launch to do at Catnip, so there's actually loads of work to do before I go away. But yeah, I'm going to end this vlog here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, man. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.